Hi everyone. Well, today it comes. It came to my attention that um, some of the features of Blender Cam are either not well understood or uh, simply uh, ignored. So today I would like to uh, go over the simple feature: um, get pocket surface. Now. What Get Pocket Surface does, it takes a 3D mesh, which is this image. It is a 3D mesh of um, the side of a drawer, and, uh, or the side of a, a presenter. And it has pockets in it, which I want. And how do I like pockets only work with curves so how do I make pockets work work with uh, these or how do I make curves to make pockets like that so there's a simple option here called get pocket surface and what it does uh, I have to change the Z limit to uh, I'm in Canada so Z is uh, uh, Z is called Z, not Z. <laughs> uh, make it uh, 20 millimeters. So what it did, it, it made curves of the different depth that I had into my drawing. So I'll give you an example. I'll just er erase the original. It seems like normal curves, right? But See, one of them is just uh, just these. It does have the holes here, which I don't need. And the other one is the uh, the uh, other curve, the other height. So this would be the top. This would be the middle, and so so there's my two curves now of course if I want to make a pocket from this I cannot have the hole in the middle so I just click on it press tab and just remove the hole delete and just remove the hole so now I have my pockets that I want. Uh, just to make sure it calculates, we can remove doubles on that. And now I should be able to make a pocket operation inside of this pocket. Uh, we'll call this object. Uh, call it big buckets oh of course it didn't work but I didn't check all my settings first Right, so my cutter diameter was a bit too big. Couldn't fit inside. And I need, um, for pocket, I need a distance between tool path to be uh, something like 2 millimeter, 63%. And I need. Um, Operation depth start to be whatever the depth that I have. Let's say it's a 12 millimeter um, thick piece of. Uh, I, I think in this case it was a 10 millimeter thick, and I want it to stop at uh, 
at five millimeter halfway. So let's see if it works now. Yeah, there we go. So now I have a pocket operation for both my uh, my um, pieces or the both pieces of wood that go in there. Now there's another thing that I need to do because my piece of wood wouldn't, wouldn't fit in. So I do need to have add an overcut on this and. Let's see, there's a video on overcuts. Okay, for some reason it didn't overcut here. I think it's because my curve is touching. Yeah, so I had a collision. Let's try again. Oh, it's my original. Yeah, so the original is uh, touching here. So I need to cut the vertex. It never, it never short, right? Delete vertices. Delete segment. So divide, bring this down, up. bring this down a bit. Right, so delete segments. And now I can join these. And just move this point out of the way. There we go. And now let's try again. Add overcuts. I didn't want to do it. There we go. So now I have my overcuts everywhere. I could just hide the original. And so uh, I could call this pocket, pocket overcut. Pocket O, and now there we go. And now I have 
overcuts to go in here and now I can put my square plank in this hole. So I hope um, my little my little uh, moves didn't confuse you too much. Um, but basically there are ways to do things with Blender Cam that seem complicated. It's not that complicated. Just editing sometimes. If you have like, uh, of course, uh, vertices that intersect, then uh, it doesn't really um, work well. It can't. So uh, that's why I had to uh, edit um, this pocket because it, it wouldn't work well. But uh, usually I guess it's a good example of what things can go not according to plan but it's not the blender cams problem it's just that the you know sometimes you have intersecting uh, auto intersecting curves all right so I uh, hope this helped and um, if it did well uh, thumbs up and uh, have a great day